We get complaints about treadmills shocking uh, users, and you know the the term is a little misused. Shocking or elect electrocution is one that one that comes to mind, which is you know mostly a I mean it's possible, but it's really a misused sort of word. What what's happening is a user is building up a static charge when they're walking on the treadmill and then they're touching something metal and then they're grounding themselves back through the frame. So all treadmills have an inherent problem with static discharge and build up, whether it's in the drive motor and is manifested through burning up motor bearings because the drive motor is trying to dissipate static and it's going through the bearings, burning up the grease in the bearings and then thereby destroying the motor or if it's coming up uh, and coming up through the user and then as the user walks they build up a charge and then touch something metal on the treadmill and then discharge themselves through the treadmill. So all these things happen. They tend to happen when the air is drier. Uh, it seems to be a better, um, you know, more likely climate for that to happen drier and thereby colder a lot of the time, so we see this a lot in the winter. Most of these walking belts have something that is an anti-static uh, weave you know, into the belt. There's some sort of uh, property of the walking belt that accounts for static dissipation, at least in theory. So it is a well-documented and known event that's going on. One thing that we have found that you can you can do that will at least uh, you, you know sometimes you can't uh, help a user building the charge up. But what you can do is you can insulate the user from discharging themselves through the frame. It's the same thing as if you walk across carpet and then touch the doorknob at the other end of the room. I mean, you tend to get a shock, and everybody's done it. If you're using uh, a soft silicone lube or treadmill doctor lube or the manufacturer calls for some sort of lubricant on the walking belt, um, go ahead and apply a couple of uh, applications. That should, uh, you know, help that charge, you know, allow for the walking belt not to build up that charge into the user as quickly. Another thing, if you have bare metal, up here on the mast and handlebars of your treadmill, you can always wrap this with some sort of tape or uh, if you can unscrew your handlebar, get this off and slide a grip over it. That way if you're touching it, um, you know, or happen to touch it inadvertently, you're not shocking, you're not going to shock yourself because you're insulated. Um, so don't be alarmed if this is happening. In extreme cases, if you're touching an HR grip, neither one of these units have touch heart rate. But if you do have HR, you know, and you're touching it and you're you're shocking, you're discharging through the HR and it can, you know, it can mess up the upper display, whether it's a flicker or it resets, you know, you're gonna have to look at doing something. A little differently. Uh, we have found that treadmills being on mats help and if we've also found that getting away from an old cotton bag belt and into a monofilament belt helps tremendously keeping that charge from building up. So I hope, I hope this helps you, you all not get shocked on your treadmill.